Hello everyone, today I am making Vietnamese spaghetti from commercial yeast but I make uh, the Polish for it and the taste is uh, very good I like to invite you to the kitchen with me and I uh, show you how to make it Welcome to Saigon Cook Travel I am Saigon Cook if you new to my channel, please like, share my videos and subscribe. Thank you. This is the recipe of Polish. You need to um, come back to see how I make the Polish. Uh, but very simple, just mix flour and water and yeast, that's it. And let it stand for a day. Now on these ingredients for the main dough You can stop the machine, your device to see the recipe Now I am measuring my water My water includes water and one egg So it will be 185 gram I have the cup measurement as well, you can see and um, it depends on your uh, flower dry or your environment the water may uh, fluctuate so uh, you can add more or the add less according to your uh, situation the rule of thumb that you add water slowly and then you will see the texture of your dough but I make this many times and it works for me so I dump everything in I um, break the eggs into the water and add directly to the um, dry ingredients and I swim swirl a few times to get let to get it started and this is a day on Polish I make it yesterday and I let it stand for nine hours and after that I put in the fridge and today in the morning I take this out and add to the other ingredients in the bowl and when I get it in, the Polish in, that means done. And uh, my kitchen aid mixer has three attachments, but you use the door hook. And I started with the speed one for one minute. The kitchen aid mixer, my is <coughs> professional. Uh, so it's very strong I don't need I don't need to need it so long but according to your machine you will see I will show you how to determine your dough is done so <clears throat> I get my machine ready now and uh, let plug it in and uh, we are on set ready to go like I said speed one for one minute to get it combined so that you uh, the flower don't fly on over your counter after that I increase to speed two and knead for five minutes and after that I um, stop and get the butter in and knead at speed four for two minutes I want of uh, butter incorporate into the dough very well you don't want to add the butter since the beginning because the butter will get 
uh, pour get wet and it will make your dough hot you add heat into the dough not ne necessary okay after um, that I speed uh, I add speed I increase into speed six for two minutes and now I do the window pan test you can see I stretch it out between my uh, fingers and they don't break and very thin you can look for over uh, through it and see the other side that's it done you can see total like a one minute two minutes four minutes uh, and about nine minutes and my uh, dough is perfect now you can see so relaxed really uh, um, smooth not that smooth when we uh, approve but it's smooth enough and stretching enough and I uh, stretch between my uh, uh, palm for a few strokes and then I cover and let it proof for one hour until it's uh, increase the volume 2.5 like so I uh, turn on my oven uh, for one minute and then I turn up immediately and put my dough into the oven without lights on without uh, oven on and it proves for me for one minute one hour now I will divide my uh, rice reason dough. This volumes dough I will dis divide into five because I want to make big loaf. Each one I weigh there for uh, one hundred fifty three grams. Now my dough is very. Uh, elastic so I go ahead and shape it as well if your dough tough or a little dry you let them sit for uh, like 10 minutes so that they relax more my dough is a very moist so I don't worry about that the way I um, shape my baguette that I've made it into triangle and um, one difference between the um, dough the bread dough when you use um, natural um, sourdough yeast and combustion yeast is this the natural sourdough you very baby it so you don't break the air inside but for the combustion yeast you bunch it down I don't I didn't bunch it but you can see I use my rolling pin to uh, roll it flat I don't worry about um, killing the air inside now I run into the last uh, edge and I make it thin so that they stick to uh, the dough and I uh, pinch them together now to make it shape like a famous shop in Hội An, Đà Nẵng It's called um, Bánh Mì Phượng I make it thin and, uh, and long and uh, pointing both sides 
Did I make it? I put them under um, the paper, the towel, so that uh, they don't dry out. After I'm done, I will put on this um, baking sheet and um, I brush some oil to prevent sticking. It might not stick, but uh, to be safe, I do that. So I already uh, primary run um, them out. Now I go to the final shaping by uh, pressing bob end, and in the middle I don't uh, touch it so that um, we have a belly when we the belly love when we back them. This is the water, 150 gram of hot boiling water. I will put in the uh, bone underneath my bacon wraps to um, heat together with um, my oven. I preheat the oven now to 465 degree Fahrenheit. And I will back um, 15 minutes from that temperature, and then I lower 400 uh, for 10 more minutes. I have a lamb, but I um, misplaced somewhere, so I make homemade lamb now. I use a skewer, and I chop it down for a clever or a cleaver then I stick my blade into it but you be careful I um, press it and it uh, rub onto my finger and it cut me you don't wonder um, you be careful so I go one third of the surface when you go one third like that, it will be um, nicer when it's back. And I first go one slash, and then and I come back to make it uh, deeper, but horizontally. And uh, that's it. After that, you spray with water and put it in the oven immediately. So you uh, tie yourself, you tie yourself <coughs> accordingly. When my oven about 430 degree, I start doing the slashing because as soon as you're done, you need to put them in the oven immediately. You cannot leave them on the counter, it will uh, deflate. I didn't have the clip that show you how I spray the bread because at that time my um, camera was out. But I spray it on over along the lashes and put in the oven and 15 minutes back at the temperature and 10 minutes lower and that's it. Here are your products. It looks very nice. Crispy outside. And I left it in the counter for a few minutes and it starts and cracks the sound of cracking. Now let's make one bun mi sandwich. I have I have some sliced thin pork butt so I grill it on the skillet and uh, I have some uh, a pork ham as well. 
Now before I stop, I will uh, pop out some of the crumb for you to see. They are soft in my fingers, and uh, let me open for you to see. So soft and moist. Now I go with my um, uh, chili mayonnaise first. I have pate, but I'm lazy to thaw it out. It's still in the freezer. So, um, but I have a lot of things already, so uh, uh, I won't miss it. So first the meat, first the mayonnaise, then the meat, and now the ham. One good thing about this shape, it don't have so much crumb inside. It has more skin, crispy skin than the, the crumb inside. So for someone don't want to eat bread a lot, this is good for them. I have some sauteed greens and now my pickle, radish and uh, carrots. They are essential for Vietnamese baguette, bánh mì. And uh, you can, uh, you can, <coughs> you can drizzle uh, uh, with soy sauce or your meat sauce. But um, I find this okay for me. That's so. And I put on my homegrown cilantro. And it looks enough to eat now. You are invited. Thank you for watching. I hope you like my video. Please like, share my video and subscribe. Thank you. See you soon. Bye bye.